In this video, we're going to look at how to find the surface area of some prisms. We're going to find the surface area of a triangular prism and also a trapezoid prism. So the triangular prism, we've got a, a right angle triangle at the front and also the back, which has a base of 12, a height of 5 and a hypotenuse of 13. And the length of the prism is 20 centimetres. And the question says, work out the surface area. So um, we have the triangular prism has five faces. It's got the triangle at the front, the triangle at the back. It has got the rectangle on the bottom. It has the rectangle, which is the vertical one on the left hand side, and it has got the sloped rectangle as well. So it's got five faces. Um, I've got the net here if it helps to sort of show where it's got the bottom, the sloped face, the two triangles and the vertical side. And they would all fold up to make that triangular prism. Um, so get rid of that. So let's get started. So let's call the two triangles uh, one and two base of it, let's call that face three, the vertical uh, rectangle four, and the sloped one five. Okay, so triangle one and two. So there for triangle is equal to half the base times the height. So the base of the triangle is 12, so half times 12, and the height of the triangle is five. So we're going to do half of 12, which is 6 times 5, is 30 centimetres squared. So that's the area of the triangle at the front and the triangle at the back. So 1 is 30 centimetres squared and 2 is 30 centimetres squared. Okay, the rectangle, which is the base, which is... Uh, the rectangle has got a width of 12 centimetres and a length of 20 centimetres. Okay, so if we times those two together, they will give us the area. So area of the base is equal to length times width. So it's going to be length, which is 20, times width, which is 12, which equals 240 centimetres squared. So that means face number three, the base, has an area of 240 centimetres squared. So we've done three of the faces. We've done the triangle at the front, the triangle at the back, and we've done the, uh, the base. Now we're going to do the rectangle, which is the vertical one on the left-hand side, this rectangle here. So that rectangle, it has a length of 20 as well, and it has got a width of five. So area equals length times width, which would be equal to 20 times five, which would be equal to 100 centimeters squared. So that was face number four, the vertical one, which is equal to 100 centimeters squared. And finally, we have got the rectangle, which is the sloped face. So that rectangle is this rectangle here, and again, the area is equal to length times width. So it's going to be the length, which is 20, and the width, which is equal to 13 this time. Okay, So 20 times 13 is 260 centimeters squared. So that was face number five, the uh, sloped face. And then all we need to do is add those area of those five faces, the front, the back, so the front, the back, the, uh, the bottom, the left, and the sloped one, and they will give us a total surface area of this shape. So the total surface area, total surface area will be equal to 30 plus 30 plus 240 plus 100 plus 260. And when we do that, we get 660 centimeters squared. And that's it. Okay, so we're now gonna work out the surface area of this trapezoid prism. So as you can see, it's got a trapezium at the front. It's got a rectangle on the right-hand side, a rectangle on the left-hand side, a rectangle on the top, a rectangle on the bottom, and a trapezium at the back. So we're gonna work out the area of those six uh, faces and then add them together to get the total surface area of this trapezoid prism. Okay, so let's start off with the front. The area for trapezium is equal to a half bracket A plus B times h and if you can't remember that watch the video on corporate maths on that okay area for trapezium so a and b are the two parallel sides so that's the top and the bottom so that's 7 plus 12 and then we're going to times that by the height of the trapezium which is 4 uh, ignore 5 that's the diagonal it wouldn't be the height so 4 is the height of the trapezium so 7 plus 12 we're using bob master the brackets first 7 plus 12 is 19 and half of that is 9.5 and then we're going to times that by 4, and that will be equal to 38 centimetres squared. So that's the area of the front, which, you know, is going to be, let's call that 1. The back, which is 2. Uh, the left and the right, which we'll call 3 and 4. And we'll call the top 5 and the bottom 6. 
So that is the area of one, the front, 38 centimeters squared, and it's also the area of the back, which is 38 centimeters squared also. Okay, now let's look at three and four, which are the two rectangles. Now, as you can see, the trapezium has got uh, the length of the sort of the side of the trapezium on the left and the right are both five centimeters and the length of the trapezium is eight centimeters so if we do if we look at this rectangle if we do eight times five we're going to get the area of that rectangle so area equals eight times five or length times width which is equal to 40 centimeters squared and that's the same for the left hand side also because it's also going to be five times eight so that means that the area of three is equal to 40 centimeters squared and the area of face four is also equal to 40 centimeters squared okay face number five well that's the top of the trapezoid prism um, so if i just rub this out we can have a look at that so the top is also a rectangle and if we look at it it is seven wide and it is eight long so we're going to do and so rectangle so area equals eight times seven which is equal to 56 centimeters squared because it's seven times eight and seven times eight is 56 and that's the area of the top that's 56 centimeters squared and now just the bottom so the bottom also is a rectangle and it's going to be 12 wide and eight long so we're going to do area is equal to 12 times eight which is equal to 96 centimeters squared and if we add those all up our front back left right top and bottom and we add those all up we're going to get the total area our total surface area of this trapezoid prism so if we do that we're going to get 38 plus 38 plus 40 plus 40 plus 56 plus 96 when we work that out we get uh 308 centimeters squared and that's the total surface area of that trapezoid prism